YouTube. What is good? It's your boy Professor Rich and welcome back to the club channel. Like always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in and clicking and uh, you see when I'm rocking the club merch. I'm just going to give you guys five seconds to like, comment, subscribe and share the content. Um, can our goal for today be 35 likes? You guys have been doing very well with the uh, like goal so far, and I appreciate you guys' help with the algorithm. And in the comment section, let me know if you want me to do a topic or if you want me to redo a topic or like do something like the panels, like the all girl panels, uh, red pill versus black pill, something like that. While well, I have you guys here, and hope everyone's year is off to a great start. But I'm just going to dive into the topic because I was doing a panel with top. Uh, Chakra, Playboy Zay, Mr. In the Action, Young High Flyers, you know what I'm saying, like fellow content creators, go check them out as well. And uh, the topic was once for the streets, always for the streets or something like that. And shouts to OG Top because uh, I'm going to be quoting him on this. And this is like facts. And I'm going to be having him on the channel very soon so you can get some OG uh, expert level pimp game from my homie Top. But uh, someone watching, I'm not throwing shade at you either, bro. It's just you said something that... Uh, these guys are just watching all this content and they just following trends and listening to what the next man says. And he said, never approach a woman unless you get choosing signals. If you don't get choosing signals, don't approach her. Something along that line. And I just completely 100% don't agree with that. I mean, because that's the equivalent of your boss isn't going to give you choosing signals if you want to get a, a, a new job or get a raise. You're going to have to initiate that or show that or have that conversation. Your purpose isn't going to give you choosing signals. YouTube didn't give me choosing signals. My store didn't give me choosing signals for me to start my store. As a man, I went there and tackled it, you know what I'm saying? Got what I wanted out of life. And I put myself in a position to either adapt, succeed, or fail. All right? And that's the same thing when it comes to getting women. The, the time period where I was sleeping with the most woman at one point, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not, not bragging about this either. I actually, you know what I'm saying, rap against before you, but like smashing three, four girls a day, having rotations, all that stuff. When I put women on a, a very high level and pedestal in my life, um, I was approaching every attractive woman I saw, whether she gave me choosing signals or not, whether she had a boyfriend, whether she was married, I didn't care. I made that like oath to myself. I said, yo, whenever I see a bad girl, whether it's in the Walmart, whether I'm just crazy, whether I don't have a haircut, whether I don't have no nice shoes on, whether I don't have no designer, if I don't have like a nice watch on, I'm going to approach her. I mean, and that's what you have to do. You guys are putting too much power into a choosing signal, which is something so minuscule and so like minute, you're going to miss it anyway. A lot of guys aren't aware, like not just for choosing signals, but just aren't socially aware in general. And a woman's choosing signal is very, uh, some are very obvious, but I'm going to quote top on this. The two main choosing signals that matters is if you're having some type of sexual relationship, uh, relations with her, or she's spending money on you. I mean, or she might touch you, look at you, stuff like that. But those are the two main ones because women don't spend their money on guys that <laughs> they don't like. And they don't have sexual relations. Well, I mean, here or there. I'm not going to really argue with that with this video. But are you getting something from her? I've had so many consultations and conversations with guys. They're like, oh, yeah, bro. Uh, she was giving me choosing signals. And what did you do? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're wasting your time, bro. You, like, you're missing your opportunities. You guys have to be. Stop fearing rejection. And this is deeper than women. Like I said, in any aspect of your life, you guys have to stop fearing um, taking that first step and maybe looking stupid. You guys want the experience without going through the experiences, all right? And uh, every content creator that I know that are good with women or uh, give good game have had multiple experiences. You guys have to go through those successes and those failures and to adapt and tweak whatever you need to do in order to get what you want out the situation. And... It's just, you, like, the guy who said that, that didn't come from his heart. That came from three content creators and he repeated it, and it made it sound like it was good advice, and it's not. Because, like I said, you guys are waiting for something to happen when you need to take, you need to take charge and go after what you want. I mean, um, 
Shout out to the OG Ronnie. I'm going to have him on there. He tells me a lot. Um, good things come to a patient man. I mean, and good things come to a man that takes initiative. If I see a, a, a car that I want, I'm not going to wait for a choosing signal. I'm going to go figure out how much it costs, see what I have to do, see the insurance, and take the necessary steps. And I, I do that with every, you know what I'm saying? You dive in. I mean, the best thing to do is sometimes just dive in. Don't be trying to dip your foot in the pool, just cannonball in there, bro, and put yourself into environments that either succeed or fail. And that's my video for today. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your, your opinion in the comment section. Am I wrong? Should we just strictly wait for choosing signals and wait for something to come to us? Or should we take charge and take advantage of the situation? I mean, I appreciate you guys. Peace.